Hello. Uh, now we need to talk about the stability of digital control systems. And we need to analyze one method called jury test for analyzing the stability for digital control system. Jury test. Okay. Okay, if we have a characteristic equation like this one, f of z will be equal to a n z to the power of n plus a n minus 1 z n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 z n minus 2 and so on plus a 0 will equal to 0 this is the characteristic equation of a system okay we need to apply a jury test for this uh, to know if the system is stable or not okay this is the purpose of jury test Okay, we need to make a table like now, this number of row, and make z to the power of 0, z to the power of 1, z to the power of 2, until z to the power of n, okay, <coughs> 1, row 2, row 3, go to the number of rows here until 2n minus 3 which in here in this case n is uh, the order of the system until 2n minus 3 as I said n the order of the system order of system okay Okay, we'll take example and see how to apply this method to know if the system is stable or not, okay? Now you take the coefficient for z to the power of 0 and make it here, which is a0. Coefficient of z1 will be a1, this will be a2, this will be a n, okay? Go to a n, alright. Now the second row will be the the opposite of this one the opposite of this or the reverse I mean so you make here a in and here a in minus one a in minus two and go 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 until a zero okay as I said I'll take example and show you how to apply this very simple technique to know if the system is stable or not the second one here you make B0, B1, and go to P in minus 1. And now you make the reverse for this one. You write an opposite, like now, B in minus 1, B in minus 2, and go until B0. Okay? And we go. To reach this number of rows, which is to n minus three, okay, okay, okay. Now there's two conditions: the necessary condition and sufficient conditions for stability. The necessary and sufficient coefficient for polynomial f of z to have no roots on and outside the unit circle in the z-plane is called asymptotically stable. I mean by this, we have f of z. For example, it's a polynomial, okay? And uh, if you write the z-plane, z-plane, real of z, and imaginary of z, the student circle, if the roots is inside, inside, not on the unit circle, is inside, the unit circle is called asymptotically stable. The system is called asymptotically stable, okay? And if the roots is outside this unit circle, it's called unstable the system. But if the roots is on the unit circle, on this bullet line, it's called stable. Okay? But uh, here is marginally stable, actually. Okay? Okay. So, the necessary condition... Necessary... Condition... 
condition you take f1 and see if it is more than zero it's okay okay you get f minus one and you have two condition here it will be greater than zero or will be this than zero if in even in odd okay first you need to see the 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 order of the system f of z if it is even f minus one should be greater than zero if it is odd the order of f of z uh, f minus one will be less than zero if n is odd the order of the system okay and these two condition called necessary condition okay now there is a sufficient coefficient efficient condition you need to see a0 will be less than a n b0 will be greater than b n minus 1 and c0 will be greater than c n minus 2 and so on. We'll see an example to clarify these things. Okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. We need to solve this example using jury test. Uh, this is a characteristic equation, which is fz equal to z squared plus z plus 0.25. And we need to test using jury test. As you can see here, it's a second order equation n equal to is even number which is equal to 2 so the number of rows for jury test will be like what we note here it's 2n plus 3 so n it's 2 so 2 times 2 will be 4 minus 3 it will be 1 okay so we have only one row for this jury test uh, first we need to you uh, to show to examine the necessary condition and the sufficient condition first the necessary condition we need to show to, sh to to solve for f equal to 1 and see uh, the sign for the equation so we are talking about necessary condition first thing you need to to uh, evaluate this function at uh, z equal to 1 will be 1 plus 1 plus 0.25 will be uh, <coughs> 2.25 which is greater than 0 which is okay so we go for the next step the first one satisfied okay uh, now n is even it's equal to 2 so f minus 1 should be greater than 0 we'll see if it is f minus 1 we'll test it uh, minus 1 to the power of 2 plus minus 1 plus 0.25 this will be 1 minus 1 plus 0.25 this cancel each out we reach 0.25 which is greater than 0 and it is okay so the necessary condition is satisfied both this one and this one okay we go for the sufficient condition as the, we note earlier so the number of rows it's to end my feet so we get only one row for this okay so we get a0 a1 until a we make this table small table which is only one row here z to the power of 0 z to the power of 1 like this one like this equation and z to the power of 2 okay what's the coefficient times z to the power of 0 it's 0 0.25 write it 0 0.25 okay What's the coefficient times to the power of z to the power of 1 will be 1. And what's the coefficient times z to the power of 2 will be 1. Okay? Now this is a0. And this is an. Okay? So we go for our uh, sufficient condition this one. We got only this one by the way. Because we have only one row. We don't have b's and c's. I uh, will show maybe next example how to what is p and c. If it is if we have an, uh, a higher order uh, characteristic equation, yes, we can. Uh, we need to use these 
sufficient condition and see if it is uh, the system is stable or not or uh, in other words if there's uh, uh, roots inside the circle if it is asymptotically stable or not okay so we got a zero the sufficient condition will be uh, should be less than a and we will examine and see so this is 0 0.25 absolute value is it question mark is this done one yeah it's it's fine so the system is stable by the way if you, you if you see the root for this uh, equation this one so uh, um, uh, using jury test the sufficient and necessary condition the necessary condition and the sufficient condition both are satisfied so uh, using jury test the system is asymptotically stable so uh, we have two roots because it's second order equation and all these two roots are inside the unit circle okay